Room one is dedicated to spine. It's, it's going to be what we do. The majority of our spine surgery. Okay. Uh, the way the floor is and the ergonomics of the room, it will allow for for the to bringing in that big O arm and allow bringing in our our C arms to to have a footprint in the So you got a huge space in here. Have a huge space in here. Um, of course, a lot of our equipment is on the booms. You'll see one cord in the floor right now, and that's no actually cords. charging our, our table. Our mm -hmm. table has batteries in it, so once we come in. There used to be cords all over the place. Mm -hmm. and, and all kinds of things standing on stands, and now you yes. see almost nothing on the stand. Yes. And, and then, Tony, I, this is the uh, control center over here, right? This is the control center. This is actually the nurse's side of the control center. You have what we call OR suite is this program here that allows the nurses to turn the lights up and down in the room. It allows the nurse to control the equipment that's attached to the boom. Um, we have capabilities of, in the end of our construction, that the surgeons will be wearing, can wear this microphone under their, their scrub or, or their surgical gear. And in our conference room will be monitors in there that our uh, med students can actually go into that conference room and bring up one of these rooms on their monitor and the surgeon can actually talk to the students in that room of what he's doing to the procedure. So they, they can, can watch there. remotely uh, in high definition a, high a definition, surgery and he can explain. We have an in room light up here that is, you know, it angles and, and zooms and all. Oh yeah, the camera up there. The camera up there. So those, I've seen these cameras before. They can zoom in from 20 feet away out around the pupil of your eye. Right. It's so it's so incredibly um, high definition. Those and we actually have cameras built into our lights. Cameras are built into the lights. If if it's over the surgical field, yeah. And we have covers that goes over. This is sterile, so so you, you can know, record the surgery. And you can actually position the camera over the surgery and record it, or you can actually transmit see, it transmit it into the room. And so while the surgeon's actually doing real-time surgery, he can talk to the med students that's in the other room and kind of tell them what's going on and what he's seeing and actually what he's doing for the patient. Uh, very, very, very nice technology. These that's lights super. are also high-tech. Um, I love these lights, Tony. The, if I could turn them over here and show you. The, normally the old lights had to have what's called a cold start. You could not just turn them on at their full intensity. They would brighten up over a period of time. And it blow the bolts. These here you could go from being totally off to, to their full amount of illumination without any injury to the lights. I'm it's assuming it's powerful. because it's the LED of some it's sort. LED. If you'll notice, let me throw them over here. These things are called cold wash. If you, if you, if you put your hand underneath there, underneath the light itself. Okay. And what's the color change on your hand? You see it goes the blue. Wow, well, yes. What this does here, if, if you're doing surgery that involves vascular, then you change the color hue, it's called the blue hue. Yep. And it, vascular looks vascular. And as you change the color hue there, bone becomes true bone color. Uh, it's the latest technology that's out there for it keeps device. it keeps spectrums of light from distorting what you're seeing or, or, or it, it changes your perception and makes you able to I guess identify structures physical structures better than you could before much right? better especially you know if there's some kind of abnormality fantastic start, start there. They're, they're just super, super this is by called Berktold Berktold or something yeah, fantastic Terry thank you for showing me this brother you're welcome. Hey, the striker over here, so that looks like an IV pole, but oh, is that just like a, is that, what is that? Actually, this here is, is uh, called a Neptune. It's made by striker. Uh, in a lot of the ORs, you used to see a lot of suction. Yeah, sections, were, canisters on the wall, hanging from the wall. Network. This here is the newest technology that it works as a suction container, but there is, the nurses does not have to handle any any body fluid. You can just roll it out and then dump it. It, some. it hooks up to a docking station and it automatically the docking station sterilizes this unit. And the thing is too, it doesn't take up any room in the landfill like mm -hmm. the plastic containers wow. did. So we're, it, it, it works two ways. Safety for our nurses and our physicians 
and also it prevents better for the environment. For our environment. Wow. And of course, all the equipment is put on the boom. Yep. Uh, except for the monitors. The boom is 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 very easy to, to control and activate. It actually locks in place when it's put into a position, but very easy to you move. You can push these buttons and just one button. Out. Oh it's, my! It's just really one hand operation that you can get this up close to the field and, and position it. And you don't, so in other words, it doesn't take a whole lot of physical effort to move it. A small person can move that around. No, sir. And of course, you know, we, could, we have the capability of adding more to, to our uh, boom itself, more, you know, out more equipment. Yeah. Uh, right now, this, is, this, is, this controls our cameras and our uh, insufflation. We will be putting a, a uh, cartery unit on here. Some of the equipment that we have on this cart will actually be going on this one. This is two. So. Terry, I notice it looks like everything from anesthesiology is, is brand new, right? It is. And this is like this is like a state of the art. State of the art anesthesia machines, which actually ties in with, to our electronic documentation. Normally, where most of the time anesthesia is there for five minutes, was doing the blood pressure and the vital signs, respiration, where the ventilations. This is, this is continuous. I see. So it's a continuous documentation of what real time is happening and going, you know, through the procedure and with the patient. Uh, technology has changed on the whole way we deliver medicine anymore. And, and ten years ago, how much has changed just in the space of ten years? Ten years ago, we did, we were just beginning microscopic surgery. Maybe uh, yeah, maybe fifteen years. Fifteen ago. years ago, yeah. You know, laparoscopic gallbladders was probably the first yeah. video camera assisted surgery yeah. that you saw. And even with some of that surgery, the doctor still had to do what we call hand assist. So that instead of having the puncture wounds that we have now, there still was a decision made for you know the surgeon to be able to get his hand you know, into into the surgical field to assist or manipulate. Now we're doing surgery through five millimeter pump. Poke holes, little just, bitty small holes. Just little small holes. And, and we're talking about hundreds of procedures now. We're that talking we about hundreds of procedures. Uh, you know, the biggest thing is the laparoscopic hysterectomy is that, that uh, a lot of our females are. And the ladies can recover know. really fast from those. They're ready really to, to, they go home the same day where years ago when it was an open case, you know, they were in hospital for five to seven days. Uh, Post-op day one, uh, you'll hear a lot of the women talking about it. they're ready to drive, you know, and, and just a little sore. Yeah. Uh, Post-op three, post-op day three, they're ready to start shopping. Wow. You know, so it is just, it is a, huge huge you know benefit for for, for that laparoscopic uh, approaches to surgery have been probably the big revolution of the last decade or decade and a half it is and now we have the equipment to to do to enhance even more in the future you know we, we have the capability for for expansion so it's, it's great Terry, you are awesome. Thank you, my friend for showing me. Is, is there are there other things you need to show me while we're here oh they get so much Tony I would it's incredible